What's going on, people? It's your main man, Johnny Clutch Cards, aka Johnny Clutch Crypto. Um, in this video, we're going to get right into you know dealing with the deeper network. So, we're going to be unboxing, configuring, and uh, you know, uh, monitoring, setting up uh, our deeper connect nano uh, that we got from Indiegogo, our Indiegogo order a few months back. Um, if you have any questions, as always, please leave uh, leave a comment down below. Like, share, subscribe, and with no further ado, we're gonna jump right into the video. You got clutch. What's going on, people? It's your main man, Johnny Clutch Cards, aka Johnny Clutch Crypto, back at you again with a configuration video for our Deeper Connect Nano. So we're gonna unbox this bad boy. We're gonna get it all hooked up so we can start earning some. DPR staking rewards. Um, so we're just gonna get this box open first and take a look at what we have. All right, pretty straightforward. And there's the unit. Looks like a little directions here. Let's see these directions. Uh, you know, very small. So it should be pretty straightforward to get this thing hooked up. Um, so put that to the side. Let's move the unit out of the way. All right, we got something down here. Uh, Ethernet cable. All right, that, that's good, straightforward. A little short ethernet cable to connect you know, the mini to the, your router or something like that. And then this box here should be our power adapter. Yes, power adapter. Looks to be USB-C for the power. And there you have it. That's everything in the box. Let's take a closer look at our Nano real clean design you know I like the silver really nice looking small not taking up a lot of space um, looks like you got, you got an SD card slot sweet okay so we got our USB-C power we got a router in Ethernet and we got a router out Ethernet so there you go pretty straightforward we're gonna swing it around we got an SD card slot that you know that that could be useful, um, you know, for upgrades or add-ons or whatever comes out. Got the USB on the side, so or, you know, future uses probably. And all in all, pretty simplistic. So now we're gonna go in the bedroom and get this thing hooked up. So stay tuned. All right. So now we got the mini in our room we have our, our power we have our cable here pretty straightforward we're gonna plug in our power get the mini plugged in itself even though I think they tell you to plug this in last um, I'm breaking the rules right here but we're gonna plug that into the wall then next we're gonna take our cable our Ethernet cable and we're gonna plug it in to this port. And now we're going to plug this other end into our home router. All right, so now that we got that plugged in, we're gonna plug in our second cable here. We're gonna get this plugged in. And this goes to our home router. So we got our white cable that's gonna go into our ISP router. And then this blue cable is going to my mesh network router, right? So that's how you do it. It's in between. The deeper is now in between my AT&T router and my mesh network here at home. Now you're just gonna plug it in, reset, restart everything, and you should be good to go. All right, welcome back. So now we got everything plugged up. We unboxed, we uh, put our deeper in between our ISP router and our mesh network. If you have a different setup at home, feel free to leave a comment down below and uh, I can try to help you in the comments. I, I always read the comments. I try to respond to them all. Um, so please feel free to do that. Um, but now that we got everything plugged in, 
you just want to log into your device. Uh, let's make sure that we are connected to our mesh network here. Yes, we are connected to our mesh network and not directly to the ISP router. And you're going to type in 34, 34, 34, 34. Boom. That takes you in. Now, typically, it'll prompt you for a login. Uh, that default login is going to be in your directions. But once you log in, the first thing you want to do if you're using that default password is you want to come here to system and you want to, if I can find it here, let me see. Oh, my bad. You want to scroll all the way down here to password. Scroll down here to password and then use this to reset your home password to something that you, you know, that is personal to you and don't use the default password. Okay. Once you get everything on, it should appear like this. You should be able to see, you know, things coming in, things going out. Um, this is all still default settings. I haven't changed anything other than to reset the password. Um, and it's been working great. Um, one of the cool things that you can kind of do is come down here into the web filter. And the web filter actually keeps track of everything that is blocked. Like it blocks ads, it blocks all kinds of things. So the one thing you do want to kind of be aware of, if you notice that you're using a particular site, a site that you're actually trying to access, like for me, I think it was NFL.com. I was trying to log into my fantasy football, NFL.com, and the page would never load. The login would never load. Well, that's because Deeper was blocking it. Now, rather than just, you know, explicitly unblock it um, on Deeper, I would just connect to the ISP Wi-Fi and then use, you know, whatever site there is. So uh, if you guys would like to see how to unblock specific sites um, or for me to go deeper into how <laughs> deeper into deeper into how to, you know, do one offs and allow one offs. Um, let me know down in the comments and we can do more videos on this because it's a really cool device. I've had my up and running for some time now. Um, I also have already staked. Um, my DPR, so I'm earning um, mining rewards here. So if we come down here into my wallet, you can see that we are earning deeper um, at, a, at a pretty, you know, a regular pace. Um, where is the mining rewards here? So you can see us getting our 2.74 for the 5,000 um, DPR that we did stake. If you need help staking uh, your DPR, once you get your nano set up, um, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'll, you know, I'll do a video on that as well. Um, and you know, that that's pretty much it. Like it's pretty straightforward. Um, and it's a very neat device that I've seen. Like it's really good at blocking. Um, if we go back to this, uh, go back to the web filter dashboard, you know, 3,200 ads, blocked ads, 39,000 block trackers. Um, nothing blocked malicious. It's not blocking porn, <laughs> um, but you know maybe maybe I should block it because uh, I do have a teenager in my house. Anyway, um, it shows you some total, so it gives you a, a good idea of what it's doing and what kind of bang for your buck you're actually getting while you're using it, and you're getting those mining rewards and uh, which should add up over time. So that is it in a nutshell. Um, this has been the unboxing configuration video for the Deeper Connect Nano. Um, this was an Indiegogo Nano that I ordered off Indiegogo. Um, and at any rate, man, you know, once again, my name is Johnny Clutch Cards, a.k.a. Johnny Clutch Crypto. I am for the people, by the people. You only got me and the Constitution. Remember that.